legendary Dodger town in Vero Beach, Florida. Holman Stadium, the spring training home of the Dodgers since I believe 1948. This is their last season in Dodger Town. They're heading out to Arizona like a lot of other clubs for a better deal, I guess, a better lease. I'm not sure the business aspects of it all, but it's rumored that maybe the Orioles will come here. Um, I hope that somebody does because it's a great ballpark. Let's go take a look. So are we rolling? Okay, good. Here with Pete Van Weeren, broadcaster for the Atlanta Braves, of course, as you may know if you hear him on 640 WGST and 94 on the Bull and across the far flung Braves radio network. We were just talking about Dodger Town, this being the final year of the Dodgers in Dodger Town. I guess they'll rename it. Oriole Town just Oriole. Doesn't, doesn't sound right. O-Town, uh, no. Uh, it, this is always a very unique place. Uh, you would come here and uh, wander around the complex. Speed pitch, three balls for what appears to be two dollars. Did the price go up or down? Well, for spring train it's two dollars for summer during the, during the Double raise, it's a dollar. Oh, okay, so you guys are, are price gouging a little bit during Not spring us. training. Not you guys, it's somebody else. We just, you guys we just, just work here, right? Work. You never knew who you were going to bump into. You'd bump into a Sandy Koufax, you'd bump into Roy Campanella. You'd, 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 all these different uh, Dodger legends would always be around. And it's a, it was a very informal setting here, too. The, uh, the, the way the fields are located, the workout fields and the practice fields, uh, the fans have full access. And so they had... Uh, the ability to, to interact with the players, and that, that was always a very unique thing. It wasn't the players down here in the field and the fans are up in the seats. The fans wander around the complexes, watch the workouts, watch the minor leaguers, uh, talk to the managers, coaches. It was always, it was always a very unique place. Time we have former Braves second baseman and now first base coach Glenn Hubbard taking some ground balls to the infielders. Roger McDowell catching in. Enjoy the sights and sounds of Dodger Town. It's a great place. This is probably one of the most hallowed spring training grounds. You have a lot, oh, yeah. a lot of people moving around for better deals, for better facilities, but they've always done a lot of improvements here and, and kept it relevant. Yeah, and there was always a, there was always a uniqueness, and still is a uniqueness in the ballpark. The open dugouts with the no roofs. They can be very hot down there on a hot day. Uh, kind of dangerous too with foul balls. Kind of dangerous. Because Bobby uh, Cox wears a first baseman's glove when he sits yes, there in he his does. chair and a helmet. <laughs> and uh, for a long time they didn't have fences here. They just had the hill out. Outfield, you see outfielders climb up the hill to make catches, bump into palm trees. There were there were a lot of a uh, lot of interesting things here. Uh, I can remember the the Braves played the, the Dodgers in the last game the Dodgers were playing here one year uh, at Vero, and it was the game where Pedro Guerrero tore up his knee. And the Dodgers, who were looking to go back to the World Series that year, at least they thought they were. Uh, when that happened, you could just feel the pall fall over the entire organization because they carted him off the field on a stretcher. And he had to have surgery and was gone for, for much of the year. But there are there are things that come to mind. Mike Piazza, a non-Oscar player, hitting a game winning home run in the bottom half of the ninth inning, scoring number 78, something like that, against the Braves one year. And two years later, he was an All-Star catcher. <laughs> You were telling me a story yesterday about Tommy Lasorda being down here oh, yeah. and the pomp and circumstance that went with being Tommy Lasorda at Dodger Town. When Tommy came into the ballpark when he was the manager, uh, after batting practice he would go back to the locker room and then as the teams came out to uh, get ready for the game, the teams would all come out and they'd all be standing around warming up, getting ready. And then all of a sudden there would be a fanfare of the public address system. And in the far right-hand corner down by the bullpen, right field, a golf cart came out with Tommy Lasorda sitting in the golf cart. They played Hail to the Chief, and he would doff his cap and salute all the fans and do a, a circuit of the entire of the entire ballpark. That was his grand entrance. Tommy Lasorda, the king of Dodger Town. <laughs> well, we're going to go try to find Tommy. We're going to go try to find Tommy. Maybe the Sandy Kofax sighting is in, in store for us today. Okay, very good. All right, thanks, Pete. Slow down in Dodger Town. You guys see that guy? Get some speed humps. Can I, can I have a throw? Sure. All right, I'm going to throw here. How, uh, how hard do you think I can throw? You don't know? I don't either. What's that? Okay. Yep, you ready? Okay, here it is. Grant, are we? I got it. I got you ready? You. Good? Good? Strike at 50 miles an hour, and I haven't even warmed up. Guess the speed to win. Oh. First two, then you guess your third. 
it's not a bad deal. I'm calling Mitch Evans. He's supposed to meet us here. I think he got off the air around nine. He probably took a shower or something. He's always taking showers. I'll tell you what, I'll give you two bucks if I don't get 60. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, I see your boss is over there. I won't make you look bad. Now, I'll have a helmet with ice cream in it. What kind of a helmet or what kind of ice cream? Ice cream. Oh, good. Ice cream, yeah. Thank you, guys. Welcome, enjoy. Have fun. Dodger Town's been around 60 years. I think that lady was about 40 when she got here. What? Because she's old. Who, who's that? That's just, get, you that's get just your, a Vero Beach Dodger. I yeah. got you. Oh, that's a minor leaguer. You get it, you put your, your head in there and take the picture. How much does that cost? Oh, good. We're going to hey, take wait, a motion picture. You're going to have to have a camera. Like Jason Smith. Hey Mitch, where are you? Yeah, they're parking Nazis here. They don't let you go anywhere. A little more Rick Vaughn. Much fun have you had in Dodger Town? All right, we'll see you in a few. All right. Mitch is on premise. We'll be catching up with him soon. I'm sure he'll have a great story about why he's late. It's not really late. He wasn't supposed to be here at any particular time. I found a $20 bill. I didn't bother to see if anybody had lost it or not. I figured if nobody was looking for it and no little kid was crying because he lost his $20 and it's rightfully mine. The wind was blowing and I picked up real fast. So, Dodger Dog time. Grant, Dodger Dog? Dodger Dog. Right. Hey, Two Dodger Dogs. Two Dodger Dogs. Two Dodger Dogs. Two Dodger Dogs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want something to drink? Um, no, we're good on drinks. Good on drinks. We're good on drinks. Yes, we can. We're with the media. We like. We just take them from the media area. Okay. Remember, but if they're not a hundred, ID them. Nine fifty. ID, ID, ID. No more than two beers. ID. No more than eight Dodger dogs. Yeah, you can have as many Dodger dogs as you want. What? Even if you're a hundred? Yep. You can't. There's so many. Full of nitrates. Full of nitrates. Hundred-year-old shouldn't be eating more than two Dodger dogs. Thank you. All right. Grant here. All right, where's the mustard? How are you doing which today? Way the, which way did the mustard? The brilliance of a Dodger dog, it looks like an 8-inch dog in a 4-inch bun. It's very, I don't know, off-putting at first. But you got to know that a 375 for a Dodger dog during spring training is something you have to do. Mmm, mustard only on a Dodger dog in my book. If you put ketchup on it, then you're a communist. I agree. Nobody asked you. All right, here we go. The inaugural Dodger dog bite. Get him a green hat and a little clover right here. We're going to let him go up to Notre Dame this fall and be a cheerleader for a week, be the leprechaun, the mascot right here. Leprechaun. Will you kick yourself in the head? Will you try? <laughs> hey, lady, where'd you get that? The bear? Yeah. Down there. How much is that? It's $12. $12. That's a, that's a good deal for a teddy bear, I think. Well, yeah, when it's licensed. You know, it's that's a, it's a real bear. deal. No, it's not a bootleg teddy bear? Um, no. I, you know, I took the tag off, but it did say It's got MLB. the official MLB. That's yeah. good. Bootleg teddy bears are no good at Dodger Town. Right. Well, right. Hey, Mitch. How's it going? Hey, what's going on? We're doing our docu documentary on Dodger Town. This play, I've been here five minutes. It's like heaven here. Why the Dodgers want to leave, I don't understand. I, you want to go back to Arizona, closer to home, that's fine. This place is beautiful. Whoever gets to come here, they're doing the right thing. There you have it from Mitch Evans. Here we are, taking a look around Dodger Town. Are we still on the air here? Yes. It's a beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous. He's the turning it on and off. The ride here was okay, you know, not bad. I didn't take the turnpike. Hold on, hold on. There's Brad Hangey. Brad Hangey, Hey, everybody. hey, this is for broadcast Jeff purposes. Jeff Schultz and Mark Bowman, everybody. Hey, the, the beat, the Braves beat. Look at these guys. Glad to see they made it. Woohoo! Clowning around in Dodger Town. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.